This video will demonstrate how to set up your Control Plus app for your Orisec alarm system. Firstly, make sure you have downloaded the app onto your smartphone. When you're ready to start, tap on the app. The app will ask you to accept the terms and conditions. Tap on the green button to do so. Next the screen will tell you to add a site. Tap on the settings icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. Then press on the add new site button. The screen will then show you the site information. From here input the site name, your alarm user code and the serial number. The serial number will be provided by the engineer to the first user. From there, the first user can then provide the serial number to additional users. Next, tap on Options button. You can customize the site settings to best suit you, but in this demonstration we're going to keep it simple for now. You can always come back into Settings to make any changes to the site. Tap on the Done button. The screen will now show you the site's home screen. The current alarm status is in the center. Currently, the alarm is disarmed. Below shows your status options, which have been traffic light color coded. In this example, tapping the orange padlock only part arms the shed on the property. The display will then change to show the exiting state. When the alarm has been successfully part set, the center will turn orange and show it is part armed. To disarm the alarm, tap on the green open padlock labeled disarm. The display will then show you the alarm is disarmed and show the different arm options again. To fully arm the alarm, tap on the red padlock labeled full arm. As before, the display will then change to show the exiting state. When the alarm has been successfully set the center will then turn red to show the alarm is fully armed. Again, tap on the green open padlock labeled disarm. Tapping on the middle icon with the three arrows on the navigation bar takes you to the zones list. Here you can customize what zone you want to emit or notify. For example, if you have a pet staying in a specific part of the property, you can tell the alarm to ignore that specific zone. So when you fully arm the alarm, the alarm will not include the specific zones you emitted. You can find the event history of the alarm by tapping on the list icon. Here you can see the event log. There is a filter option at the top. This is useful for when you are looking for a particular event. To view more settings on your app, firstly, you need to disconnect the site. Tap on the disconnecting icon in the bottom right of the screen. Once disconnected, tap on the settings icon also found at the bottom right of the screen. Tap along to options at the top. Then under enable buttons, tap on the buttons you want to view until you have the customized options you want to view. Tap done when you're finished. Then press connect to site to view your site again. You can now see there are more options in the navigation at the top of the screen. Outputs, used to control other devices. Activity trace, used to trace the recent activity. Zone activations, maps out the different zones that activated the alarm. The virtual keypad displays your keypad and behaves as it would if you were at the keypad itself. Therefore, from here you can also arm the alarm. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us.